Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. You might have seen me use this Triton Dowling joiner in quite a few projects and I get asked a lot about it, so I thought I'd give you my thoughts about it. So let's have a look. It's a dual dowling machine and comes with these 8mm bits. I've got fitted to it at the moment these 12mm ones, but it also has 10mm available. So it can drill a range of dowels, tiny little 8mm, or these quite huge 12mm ones. So two of those going into a joint, you can do some quite substantial joinery. It has this depth stop on the side, which determines how far the drill bits will drill into the piece of material. The plunge mechanism is not the smoothest, and I don't think the castings are the greatest on this thing. It has a fence that goes down to 45 degrees, which is pretty much what I have it always set to. The trouble is, when you're using it and you're pushing down, it's very easy to knock it out of shape. So I've got that tight, as tight as I can get it, and I can still move it, so it gets knocked all the time. And if you're one degree out, or less even, on a hole and want two to line up, that causes you some real problems. On the other side, you've got a rack and pinion for raising and lowering the fence, depending how deep you want the holes to go, well, what position on the piece of wood you want the holes to go. On the bottom, you've got a dust extraction point, port, and if you have a hoover attached to that, it does a really good job of clearing the chip-ins. If you don't have anything attached, it can get clogged up. On the top, you've got this bit of perspex with three lines scratched in, a centre line and the centre of each drill bit. They're quite chunky lines, so again, they're not that precise. But Sharp Edge Woodworking did some great mods to this machine, so I'll put the link to his videos below. One feature I feel would be nice for this machine to have is a way to consistently position it. I think on the domino, you have pins on the side, so you can butt it up to the edge of a piece of wood. But there's nothing like this on this machine, and it wouldn't be a very difficult addition for them to have put on. So I've had this machine for about three years now and been quite happy with it. It's no domino killer. I think the trouble with it is you have to be absolutely perfectly accurate with your holes and it's not the most accurate machine. With the domino you can set it so there's a bit of slop in the joints so if you're half a mil out on both pieces they still line up. This you have to be spot on or they won't go together or they'll pull the material out of shape or your joint out of shape. So to get good results, you constantly have to check it and make sure everything's set up properly. But this is a relatively cheap machine, just over £100 compared to more like £700 for a domino, plus the cost of the dominoes themselves compared to the cost of dowels available from anywhere. So I certainly couldn't justify the expense at the moment. So yeah, if you don't mind having to tweak it a little and take your time over joints, this is not going to be great in a shop where you're doing a lot of production, then it's a good little machine. So, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.